The Battle Pass is coming to Destiny 2, and I'm going to tell you guys all about it, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, Destiny 2 Shadowkeep will be adopting the wonderful whole Battle Pass thingy. Yes, I said it, thingy. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Shadowkeep giveaway for August 2019, and today is your last day, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter. Also, go ahead and join the Guardian Watcher Discord. It's an amazing community that's growing each day where content creators as well as streamers can post all of their videos. A link to the Discord as well as the giveaway will be in the description box below. Now, some of you may know what the Battle Pass is if you have played games like Fortnite, Apex Legends, and Destiny 2 Shadowkeep will work in a similar way. I'll also give you guys my thoughts about the Battle Pass at the end of the video. So, when it comes to the Destiny 2 Battle Pass, it will have what is called Season Ranks. The ranks will go from 0 to 100. With these ranks are two different tiers, a free tier and a paid tier. The free tier is for those people who don't buy the current season, but will still play during that season. The paid tier is for those who bought the specific season and are playing during that season. Each time you gain a season rank, you will be given the reward for that rank. Using Bungie's Season of the Undying example, the free tier is on top and the paid tier is on the bottom. When you reach a season rank in the free tier, you get to unlock one item for that rank if there is an item to unlock. When you reach a season rank in the paid tier, you will get both the free tier reward as well as the paid tier reward. And all engrams that you see that look like Eververse engrams will be the best of year 2 gear. So, how do you actually level up your season rank? Well, an example that was given from Bungie is pretty much tremendously casual in pace. At 18 minutes per strike, with a full set of bounties per hour, you can get one rank leveled up. Every weekly reset will give you your well-rested XP bonus, and that will help you with the first three ranks of each week. On reset, doing strikes with bounties, with the well-rested XP bonus active, we can hit level 100 and season rank within 9 to 10 weeks, depending on how dedicated you are to reach rank 100. Some people might reach rank 100 way before that, given that they have the time. Guys, getting ranks seems to be super easy for things that we already are doing inside the game, and if you pace yourself, then you can reach rank 100 before the next season starts without even trying very hard. And it seems like the only difference is the rewards you get from the free tier and the paid tier because the grind will pretty much be the same whichever tier you choose. Then when the next season arrives, you will get to go back to rank 1, even if you didn't finish the previous season. For those who bought all four season passes outright, or if you just bought the next season, which is the Season of the Undying, you will get a seasonal activity called, quote, the Vex Offensive, the Leviathan's Breath, which is an exotic bow quest, Ariana's Vow, which is an exotic hand cannon quest, and three seasonal legendary armor sets, which is one for each class. Paid tiers will get the exotic hand cannon quest and the three seasonal legendary armor sets at rank 1, while the free tier will get them at rank 25. Now the seasonal legendary armor also drops in the Vex offensive activity, so if you want one with better stats, then grinding the activity is the way to go. In addition to all of those goodies, we will also be getting an ornament for the seasonal armor, one for each class, an ornament for Ariana's Vow exotic hand cannon, two legendary weapon ornaments, a new finisher, an exotic emote, and an exotic ship. And all that comes with the paid tier. Now, you get the Destiny 2 Battle Pass when you buy a season. You do not have to buy them separately, and since you can actually buy a season at a time, you don't have to purchase a season that you don't intend to play. If you bought the Digital Deluxe or the Collector's Edition of Destiny 2 Shadowkeep, then you have nothing to worry about because the Season Pass comes with both editions, which means that you have access to the paid tier of the Battle Pass. So let's say you don't have any time to grind any day during the week. During the last two to four weeks of a season, you'll be able to buy ranks. Now, this doesn't make the game, quote, 
pay to win, end quote, because it's already towards the end of the season, right before a new season actually picks up. I'll say it a different way for others to understand. You can buy ranks at the end of a season, which means the season is almost over. Not really pay to win, you know? Season-specific legendary and exotic weapons introduced in one season will be obtainable in another season down the line, around six months or so. Mind you, most likely the last season of Destiny 2's legendary weapons and exotics may not transfer, or probably will not transfer, into Destiny 3. This has not been confirmed nor denied, but since it'll be a new game, it seems very doubtful. So that's everything we know so far about the Destiny 2 Battle Pass coming with Shadowkeep. Now that all of the information is out of the way, what do I think about the Battle Pass? Well, there are tons of positives as well as negatives that come with it, but I'm not going to get into all of it. Even after watching this video, many people will still say that the Battle Pass is indeed, quote, pay to win, end quote. But my argument for that is, what is considered winning? I mean, yeah, you can buy ranks towards the end of the season, but that season is pretty much over and a new season is about to begin. If you consider buying exotics, from which I feel shouldn't be in the rewards for leveling up your season rank, a win, while others had to grind out the tiresome hours that it takes to get that rank, then yeah, I'll give you that. But you still had to wait to the end of the season in order to do so, while I could have had that exotic or legendary weapon a few months ago. So technically, even then, it, it's still not a win. And when it comes to buying ranks, you're not really paying to get an OP weapon in the Crucible when it's relevant. Because again, you need to wait until the end of a season in order to get it. Buying ranks, you're pretty much paying for convenience, and that's pretty much it. Even if you have the paid tier, you still need to level up your season rank to get the weapons just like a free member would, except the paid member actually gets double the rewards on the same ranks, plus better rewards for being in the paid tier. I mean, we can go back and forth all day, but in the end, it really doesn't matter how I or anyone else feels about the battle pass because it seems like it is here to stay. It's just a system that has worked immensely in other games, and this is pretty much Bungie's way of getting on that train. And hey, since they are now publishing the game on their own, they can do what they want or what they feel is best for the game. I don't know. It brings a little new twist to uh, Destiny and pretty much what they can do um, for the future of the game. And hey, if it's something new, I mean, you know, it doesn't hurt to give it a try. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments about the whole battle pass and if you think if it's worth it or not. I don't know, you could probably change my mind or I could probably help persuade you to change yours. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you soon and I will see you guys in the next video.